Hello all, welcome to unit 7 of using FutureGrid for Big Data course. In the last unit, we have seen how to set up a virtual machine and we have instantiated a virtual machine using our course image. In this unit, we'll discuss about IPython and how to access IPython from your web browser. IPython is an interactive shell used for Python. It's a web-based Python notebook with the same core features but additional support for code, text, mathematical expressions, inline plots, and other rich media. You can find more information about IPython by following along this link, ipython.org. To access the virtual machine that we have created earlier, we use the command nova list. This is the name of uh, the virtual machine and we can see that it's active. In the last column we can find two IP addresses. The first is a private IP address that we use to log in to our, to our virtual machine while the second one is a public IP address which can be used to access IPython. So by going to this URL and by logging in, we can find that this notebook has been preloaded with our coursework. Let's go into one of the physics experiments. We can find various code snippets pertaining to this chapter, which we can follow along by clicking on the play button. In addition, we can create a node, a new notebook. Let's test this notebook by keying in a sample command. We can see the results interactively by clicking on the play button. We can also save it has a notebook by giving it a name. By clicking on save, we'd be saving the notebook and it will be appearing as one of the chapters. So that's it for this unit. In the next unit, we'll look at we'll look more about logging into our virtual machine and browsing through the coursework.